Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Aries. Welcome, Aries. Hope you're doing well. Going to start with the Power Animal Oracle card to get the overarching energy for your reading today. And it's Elephant Resolve. You will overcome any obstacles. Well, that is a great way to start your reading. Way to go, Aries. So whatever is um, you're perceiving as an obstacle right now in your life, um, you are going to overcome it. It looks like um, I'm getting elephant wisdom that you're going to overcome it because of some type of innate wisdom that you have. All right, Aries, in the past, you were in the energy of the chariot, moving forward with a lot of speed and a lot of um, balance, a master at, at moving forward at something. I feel this wisdom coming in in your reading already. It, it, so it's the wisdom has to do with some some movement forward, movement away from um, something that kept you stagnant. I get this feeling, Aries, that you really like learning new things, and um, if you're stuck in a connection, in a relationship, in a job um, that's not a good fit, um, it, if you're not learning anything new, then it just, um, it feels like you slowly die. There's something very exciting to you about learning new things. Um, learning what you're interested in, what has you excited. Yeah, and so it feels like you left some place, some connection, a job, um, something that there, it doesn't feel like you could advance. Uh, or if you could, it was something that you weren't interested in learning more about. Um, even you couldn't even learn more about yourself. It just feels really stuck and stagnant. And wherever you were, um, it was a burden. If this was a connection, it was a burden. If it was a relationship burden, if it was a job, it felt more like a burden to you. And um, for a long time, you felt very stuck in this. Like you had... There was some belief that you had to be in this connection. You had to be stuck. Um, you couldn't go out on your own. That maybe um, the people around you were not, uh, oh, I'm just getting that the situation, whatever this is, the people around you, if this is a job that you did not, they were gossipy. They weren't what they appeared to be. They, they weren't fun for you. I'm not judging these people at all. I'm just saying for you, it wasn't a match. It doesn't feel like you fit in. It felt like, um, Honestly, it feels like they annoyed the tar out of you, that you, there's a lack of fitting, a lack of similarities. Um, they couldn't see you clearly. And so it made you feel very unimpassioned, ace of wands in reverse, a lack of passion, and five of pentacles, feeling very stuck, very out in the cold. You didn't get along with these people. But something happened. And I feel this, um, you moved away from this energy. 
from whatever the stuckness was and feeling separated. It feels like these people also, um, they really, there was this separation feeling that I'm not quite sure they, they left you out in the cold. I feel like um, it's not a, a very cohesive group. It feels pretty false, um, some type of levels. That'll be different for each of you. But all right, so Aries, in current energies, you are in the energy of Page of Wands. Feeling unstuck now, it's like you've got a, a new idea, something, something has your attention like, oh, this is something I would like. Something's opening up, something that you could enjoy. Something where you would be at the beginning of your journey, but maybe it's a new connection, a new job, a new situation, something that has you excited. And so, it's happening really quickly. It happens. It feels like it happens. Um, something gets your interest and you move quickly and all, all of a sudden you're, you're in it. You're doing it. This is very quick, very fast. This energy, whatever this, new thing is this new opportunity new thing that excites you it's helping you move through any unresolved anything that you haven't healed from your past maybe you're still carrying some residual pain or stuck feelings or worry from your past um but whatever is happening in this present energy, it's helping you um, with whatever was blocking your moving forward. So once you heal, then you, you're you not going to have such a pessimistic view of what happened in the past. You will be able to look at the past and appreciate each step of the way that even though this was not an ideal situation that you were involved in in the past that you've learned so much from it and moved on so quickly and healed from it that you're like it, it, it doesn't bother you as much as it did when you were in here in in it in that energy i feel like really what the overcoming obstacles is is realizing that you've gained so much wisdom from some situation that you were stuck in and you're now healing and moving on that it was worth it because of how it taught you how to get through obstacles that you have the answers within you that obstacles might be difficult while you're going through them but once you figure them out you come out the other end with so much strength and wisdom in the center of your reading Aries is the tower your higher self is pointing out some type of inevitable destruction of a new point of view something that was built on a sinking foundation. Clarifying for Aries the tower. What does Aries need to know about the tower? Okay. Oh. 
towers happen when you try to build on a foundation that isn't solid. And so you keep building and building. And that's what it feels like. You kept trying to stay in a in a place, in a connection, in a situation that was did not have the right foundation for what you wanted to build by trying to stay in something that doesn't fit it puts you in a weird place with your emotions you get out of sync out of aligned with your emotions and your emotions take over I'm getting a lot of frustration a lot of projecting a lot of it might be that whatever energies the lack of alignment of this group, you started matching or mirroring an inability to really feel comfortable in your emotions. Whatever this group situation is um, that felt like a burden and you felt very separated from, um, I think that separation is good on some part, part because there's something not going right I feel like a masking of these people that they pretend to be that everything's great and we're all friends but um there feels like a lot of separation uh, a lack of truthfulness in this these whatever this was in the past so curious if you feel comfortable sharing what this storyline was for you and so a tower comes when you try to build something um, that maybe your emotions, your feelings were saying, this is not a good fit, but I'm going to stay anyway. When um, there's a lot of manipulation around, I feel like people were trying to tell you, this is great. This is fantastic. And so what's wrong with you that you can't see how amazing this is and it really kept you stuck and unable to move on and that some type of tower happened some type of unexpected something happened boom some and it got you out of this energy Something, something very unexpected. Were you fired? Were you laid off? Did someone break up with you? Did something happen that kept you, that allowed you to move on to where you are now? But sometimes what I'm getting is this tower is amazing. This tower is wonderful that got you unstuck from this energy. Something happened so you could see a pattern of, of learning how to trust your emotions, learning how to see manipulation when someone is trying to sell you something that you just don't feel is right. And when you're feeling stuck, it's you're stuck. Feels like a gift, whatever happened to get you out of this. It feels like it was unexpected. You didn't see it coming. And now you are very grateful so you can move on. It, you might be moving on at a, a less of a level, maybe lower paying job. Um, something's going on in your current energy that might feel like a cut from whatever this is, feels less than, but really it's so fast moving. It's going to allow you to continue to heal And so it feels like you fit better in this current energy. And so it's, there might be an appearance that it's not as good as the past situation, but it's actually better because it's a, a better fit. There's something about learning how to fit, to find your fit, not a fit. Your challenge right now, Aries, is Knight of Cups.
uh, an emotional offering. Love offering. Wow. Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like your challenge is right now you're feeling more stable. You're feeling more independent. You're on your own. There was some type of group energy in the past. And now you're more on your own moving forward and finding that you are independent and stable. There's something about this past energy where they made you feel like uh, you dependent, dependent on them, dependent on this. And, and your challenge is realizing how independent you really are, how stable you really are. And there's something about now that you're feeling more stable and healing and moving on and using the wisdom that you've learned that to allow some openness for new new emotions new feelings maybe new opportunities maybe you've been feeling like maybe I would like to share my life with someone I would like to explore um the area of relationship there's something that what's happened and you finding um, some level of security and stability that you've created for yourself that's inviting um, new exploring new emotions, maybe with someone else. I feel like somehow this is new for you. Like, you know, I might be ready to get back out there. I might be ready to entertain I, um, something fresh, something light, youthful. Um, but it, it feels like you want to build from that nine of pentacles. You want 10 of pentacles. You want someone who wants to build something lasting and something stable. There's a, a willingness to try something new and youthful or different from, it feels, it feels youthful. It feels new and fresh, but it isn't about being immature. It's about growing and creating a legacy, growing and creating a foundation Maybe you've been in hermit mode for a long time. You've been alone and separate and it's you're really ready to come out of hermit mode. You've done a lot of healing. Wow. That took a, a beautiful unexpected turn at the end of there. So, all right, Aries, I hope this uh, resonated with you. If this was your reading, if you liked it, remember to give this video a thumbs up. That would be so appreciated. I appreciate all of you who are watching this, who feel that you want to share how this resonates personally with you in the comments. And if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel so I can grow and see you again in other readings. So all right, Aries, take care. Bye.